Hello everyone, today I wanted to talk about this little guy. It has been just little over a year since I got it and I wanted to share my personal experience with it and what I like, what I don't like and so on. I'm sure that there are a lot of people that know more about the device than me and they use it more, but like I said, this is my personal experience with this. So when I got it, I actually bought it because of the size. I didn't know how I can implement this thing in my day-to-day -day things or maybe use it in some way. I just got it because it looked cool. It is a small device, everything was written on it so you can actually understand how it works. It had tiny screen, it had keyboard and it was like a really good package for something I wasn't sure how to use. So I bought it, it arrived, and I was like, okay, now what? I don't know how to code. Then I wasn't sure what to look for. And then I saw the first thing I loved about it. It was actually the community because everything was simple and easy to get. M5 stack gives the platform such as uh, the burner tool and the UI flow too. It was extremely easy way to get apps on it instead of just plugging in the SD card and so on. You just plug in the card computer to your PC and install everything you need. Since I got it, I use two gigabyte memory card. I never needed more. Uh, some people say that if you go over 64, you might get slower performance. I'm not sure about that. I haven't tested maybe if anyone is familiar with this, let me know in the comments. But with the Burner 2, I get access to all kinds of different apps. So it's extremely easy. Then you have the UI Flow 2, where it's just drag and drop and you get your custom firmware for your device. It's not really coding. So it's extremely easy. And then you have the different types of modules or sensors that are sold by M5 stack directly. And you just connect them to your computer and do your thing. But what really changed how I use this device was actually the launcher app. It was like extremely good and it was a game changer. You can install or switch between apps that you already downloaded on your SD card. That way the card computer feels like Swiss Army knife. You have everything already on it. As you can see, I just opened the download folder and I have all the apps that I've previously downloaded. If I need any of them, I just hit install, wait a few seconds and it's ready. But let's say you need an app that you don't have or you don't have saved on your memory card. The launcher app will give you the option just to connect straight away to the internet and download whatever you need. But by whatever you need, uh, I mean you have access to all the apps that are listed on the M5 burner tool. You can easily scroll through them and select whatever you need. You will have the option to straight away install it on your computer or you can download it and install it later or whatever you need it. Let's say you want to play Doom. You have the option to download it or install it directly. I'll just hit the download and save it for later maybe when I decide I want to play. Just note that the download speeds aren't great so you'll have to wait at least five minutes to download a larger app or file. But if you're using this just to play game, I don't think you're in a rush anyway. The third thing I like about this little gadget is the battery life. I don't know about you, but I'm having great time with it. As you can see, it has one larger battery and one smaller inside of both parts of the card computer. Also, by the battery, you can see the magnets, which are quite handy because sometimes I use it as music player and I just like to stick it on the fridge or maybe on the car and I can listen to some music while I'm doing some work. Also, check out the board. It looks like a painting to me. I really like how everything is labeled and it's extremely clear and 
quite easy to understand how or what it works. Also, the device is held by only four screws, so it's easy to replace something or change something. So yeah, I'll give thumbs up for this. Like I said, Swiss Army knife. I have Bitcoin wallet, even though I don't know anything about Bitcoins. I have a music player, I have video player on it. I even have games I can actually play. And you have the option to get some apps that do offensive pranks, uh, like this one, the Bruce. It seems that a lot of people were interested in this app. Maybe if you wanna have extended video on it, just let me know. And now I'll just mention the things I didn't like about this device. The first one was the range. You have um, kind of limited range when it comes to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or uh, whatever you want to use it for. And for that, I've seen people just do mods and adding antennas to the device to get the better signal. The second part, I don't think it's a downside, but you have higher initial cost, but that actually pays afterwards. Because there are cheaper ESP32 devices, but you don't have the whole package. You don't have the keyboard, you don't have a display or a battery, which, I, like I said, I don't see as a downside. Then the other thing I didn't like was actually the keyboard. I didn't like how the keys feel, and that's, that's about it. Don't get me wrong, the price is great on this device, and I'll show you a comparison here. I got the card computer for around 40 US dollars. Um, I'm not sure because it was quite a while ago. But since then, I bought a lot of ESP32 devices. I used this one to make a tiny handheld. Nobody saw that video anyway. It was a really learning experience for me at least. But that bare bone device, the same as this one, they cost around 5 to 10 USD. That's like fourth of the price of the car computer. This one, I think it was cheaper because it's larger anyway. Yeah, and I bought some keys because I'm gonna do a few things. And some boards because why not? But I was actually looking for this. This is an ESP32 device with touchscreen and it costs about $15 I think. The idea is that it can actually run Bruce and you'll get the same experience as the card pewter. However, it's not exactly the same experience. Well, firstly, the card pewter is not bare bone device. You have keyboard, battery, screen and everything. Where here, with this device, you get the device itself and if you're lucky you'll get the case but you don't have battery you don't have anything uh, well of course you have the device you have memory stick you have the uh, two keys that restart the device and the other turns it off I think I don't remember you have some connection options and that's about it but if you want to use it, you'll need some more things, let's say a battery or at least a power source. In this case, for the preview, I'll just use my power bank. But when it comes to getting the apps on the device, it's not as easy as you do it with the card computer. Getting apps is harder, not impossible. Um, I'm sure that someone will correct me, but yeah. You can see that I already have installed the Wauncher app on this and now it will boot to Bruce. Uh, when you load up Bruce, uh, you have the same options as you have with the card computer. You have the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, every other option that is listed on the card computer. However, as you can see, I'm hooked up on a power bank. It's not as compact or it's not as mobile, let's say. So if you want to make it mobile, you have to invest more money into getting a battery on this device. However, when it comes to the launcher app, it's not the same. You can still install apps that you already have on your memory card. In this case, I don't have installed memory card on the device. However, the Wi-Fi or the online option doesn't work because it's not an M5 device. 
I wasn't able to find method that works for this. So if you know anything, just let me know in the comments below. But still, you can again switch between apps that you already have on your memory card. It's much better than nothing. But as this is a bare bone device, you will get a lot cheaper than the card pewter. But the card pewter is full package. So it really matters how you're gonna use it and what you're gonna use it for. So I don't regret buying the card pewter, but it got a lot worse because this tiny device started all this. I have so many ideas and I think I'm gonna have fun and spend a lot of my money. The possibilities with those devices are limitless. You can have your smart home thing or maybe you can make device for offensive pranks. You can make your own handheld game and much more. You can even make your tiny drone with all the necessary parts. And all this was possible for me just because I learned first on this, the card pewter. And like I said, I don't regret it's not a perfect device, but I think it was the great device to start with. And maybe this is why I like it so much. So if you are interested in what I will do with all these devices, just let me know in the comments below and I will start making videos with them in between the different phone or laptop repairs I do. I would also be happy if you can share your experience with ESP devices or maybe M5 stack devices. I was thinking about also doing my full guide on the card computer. If you are also interested in this, I'll, I'll make a video on it. As this is getting already too long, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.